Well, yes, a Sidewinders, welcome back to another video. Before we get started, I just want to wish a very happy birthday to my beautiful girlfriend. First of all, happy birthday, babe. I love you. I'll see you soon. Um, but for the video, guys, we got a custom world finals today. And we got 16 trucks and drivers ready to battle it out here. A custom world finals in uh, Las Vegas, I believe. If I remember right, we're going to go ahead and introduce the field of trucks. Introducing first, running a Baja body style today, legendary trucking driver. Please welcome Ranger Joe Cipher in the Airborne Ranger. All right, keeping things going with the right lane here. Our next truck out. Our first look at this awesome looking Chevrolet with the slender back half. A driver looking to make a name for himself. Please welcome Rick Cassidy in Red Dread. Next truck out is another awesome looking Chevrolet. I believe, if I'm not mistaken, our first look at this one as well. Looking to shock the competition out here today. A second generation driver behind the wheel doing a cartwheel. A little bit of a wild ride there. Man, oh man, but nonetheless, please welcome. Billy Brockman Jr. in the Shockwave. Next truck out is a legendary trucking driver that has been with us many times in these competitions. Bringing back his classic design from 1999. His eyes are wide open and his teeth are showing and he's breathing that hot breath legendary machine and driver please welcome Jim Jack in Reptoid Next truck out, another awesome looking machine that we are getting our first look at in these competitions. Looking to make a statement out here against these other competitors up on his nose. Man, oh man, these guys are having some wild rides in the intros. But please welcome Shane Plateau in the Skull Crusher. Next truck out is another awesome looking machine that we have not seen in a while. Follow your dreams. And if you can read that bottom part, get her a loader. Please welcome Shelly Kajot in the Shell Camino. Next truck out, a great looking Chevrolet and a great driver that is looking for more success in these competitions. Running a custom Hot Wheels design today. Please welcome CJ Mente in Storm Damage. Next truck out, another creature from the deep waters. Rocking the Lucas Oil flag. A great looking machine with a great driver. Again, another one getting on his nose. But looking to have some success out here. Please welcome Tony Dixon in Swamp Thing. Moving over to the left lane now, coming out next, a great looking Chevrolet, protecting the harvest, the son of Jamie Garner in Overboard, 
please welcome Zach Garner in Wildside. Next truck out. A great looking Ford that has been around for a long time. But our first look at it in our competitions. We'll see how he does out here today. Up on his nose again! My goodness, that's like the third one. But please welcome Jay Snyder in the Screaming Demon. Next truck out, another great looking design for a fantastic machine that has made quite a name for itself in today's Monster Jam. Please welcome Tony Oaks in Soldier Fortune Black Ops. Next truck out. The locomotive is back once again going off the rails. Looking to have some more success in these competitions with the 3hamsters.com sign on the back. Please welcome Pete Robbins in the crazy train. Next truck out, a legendary Ford making its return to our competitions. Looking to break through. He's been struggling a bit lately. Hasn't been able to catch a break. Please welcome Greg Adams and the Crimson Crusher. Next truck out, another creature from the swamp. We're definitely going to find out who's the toughest critter in the swamp today because we've got a lot of them. This one a fantastic trucking driver once again. Please welcome Timothy Jones in the tailgater. Next truck out, a legendary machine that has been around for a long time. And a legendary World Finals champion driver behind the wheel. Please welcome Brian Barthel and Little Tiger. And last but not least, folks, is our defending champion. The Raging Bull has captured the flag and he has no intentions on letting go of it. Looking to defend it in this competition on this crazy course out here today. Please welcome Lupe Sosa in El Toro Loco. Alright, we're ready for round number one. Zach Garner in Wildside going up against Joe Cypher in the Airborne Ranger. This track starts like a normal World Finals racetrack, but then we go around a bank turn right here, and then down a short stretch to another turn. This turn is sloped. It's going to be very tricky for a lot of drivers. Joe Cypher having trouble. Zach Garner jumps out to the lead in Wildside. And he's just got to hold it steady around this turn. And it's going to be wild side. Zach Garner gets the win. That second turn there is sloped. It's going to be very tricky for a lot of trucks. Zach Garner wins the first one. Up next, Jay Snyder in the Screaming Demon going up against Rick Cassidy in Red Dread. Our first look at both of these trucks. Let's see how they handle this course. 
as they come around the first bank turn. A great first turn by Rick Cassidy, and he grabs the lead, but this is a big turn. Oh no! Oh no, he had to back up, and Jay Snyder now has the lead in the Screaming Demon, and he's going to take it across the line and get the win. A big problem there in the second turn for Rick Cassidy. He's going over. Oh, my. And Snyder wins it. Up next, Tony Oaks and Soldier Fortune Black Ops going up against Billy Brockman Jr. in the Shockwave. Let's see how these two drivers handle this course. They both get around the first turn pretty good, but the second turn has proven to be a deciding factor in these races. And Shockwave gets through very nicely. A great job there by Billy Brockman Jr. And he has the lead, but he goes a little wide. So does Soldier Fortune, and he holds on to win it. A great job there by Billy Brockman Jr. And Shockwave gets the win. Up next, Pete Robbins and the Crazy Train going up against Jim Jack and Reptoy. This should be a good one. Custom trucks here and two drivers that we've seen in these competitions before. And they've always been very competitive. They both get through the first turn very nicely. How's the second turn going to go? A great job there by Jim Jack and Reptoy. That's the veteran driver proving that he can handle any track you put him on. A great run there by Jim Jack and Reptoy. And he gets the win, Pete Robbins! Wow, Pete Robbins! A wild ride there, good save, but Reptoy moves on. Up next, Greg Adams in the Crimson Crusher going up against Shane Plateau in the Skull Crusher. The Battle of the Crushers here. Greg Adams has been in our competitions before. He's looking to break through with this Crimson Crusher. He's been struggling a bit lately. But he has ran solid on two wheels. And Shane Plateau now looks like he has a slight lead in the Skull Crusher. But we still got a good race. Greg Adams hits the wall. And Shane Plateau in the Skull Crusher is going to get the win. Greg Adams still had a decent run, despite the problems, but it's not enough. Shane Plateau wins in the Skull Crusher. Up next, Timothy Jones in the Tailgater, going up against Shelly Kajad in the Shell Camino. Great trucks and drivers. Let's see how they handle these tricky banks on this course. They both get around the first one pretty nicely. Here comes the second turn. And they both navigate it fairly well. And we got a good race going, coming to the final turn. Who's it going to be? These two are neck and neck. Here they come, what a race. That's the closest one of the evening. Tailgater, settle it down, Timothy Jones. And he gets the win. It's Tailgater winning it. Up next, Brian Barthel and Little Tiger going up against C.J. Mente in Storm Damage. Ford versus Chevy. These are two drivers right here that are always smooth as silk and very competitive no matter what track they're on. Both of these guys do a fantastic job, and they are both having good runs. We got an even race as they come over the ramp. It looks like Storm Damage has a slight lead. Coming around the final turn, it's a good race. They both have good runs, but it is C.J. Mente getting a big win in the Storm Damage Chevrolet, and he moves on. Up next, Lupe Sosa and El Toro Loco going up against Tony Dixon and Swamp Thing. Lupe Sosa, our defending champion, and El Toro Loco, you see that checkered flag? Tony Dixon trying to take out the champ in the first round. Our first look at that Swamp Thing truck, that is a good looking truck, and he's having a good run, but Lupe Sosa has the lead in El Toro Loco, and he is flying 
And here he comes to the line, Lupe Souza gets the win. Tony Dixon having a good smooth run there in Swamp Thing, but Lupe Sosa just faster and El Toro Loco moves on. All right, on to round two, folks. Zach Garner and Wildside going up against Billy Brockman Jr. in the Shockwave. Chevrolet battle. Here they come. We've got a good one going, coming down Thunder Alley to the turn. They look pretty even. Let's see how they handle this bank turn right here. Whoa, Billy Brockman Jr. sliding to a stop almost. Zach Garner gets around pretty nice, trying to get squared up for the ramp and does. He's got the lead going to the turn, but Billy Brockman Jr.'s there, but he goes a little wide, and it's going to be Zach Garner in Wildside. Oh, my, up and over he goes. And he saves it and gets the win, but a good run for both drivers there, honestly. Up next, Jay Snyder in the Screaming Demon going up against Jim Jack and Reptoy. These two were very strong in round number one, Ford versus Chevy. How do I know Reptoid's a Chevy? Because I know Reptoid, do not question me. They both look very good around the first turn. Let's see how they handle this one. And they both get through very well. We got an even race. Look at these guys go. They are neck and neck coming around the turn. Who's it going to be? It's a close. What a race. Man, oh man, what a race. Oh, Jay Snyder on the bicycle and he saves it. And he gets the win. The Screaming Demon moves on. Up next, Timothy Jones in the tailgater going up against Shane Plateau in the Skull Crusher. Great trucks and drivers. This should be another good one. They both look good in round number one. Here they come around the first turn. Timothy Jones way up on the bank out of the first turn. But looks like he has a slight lead. They both get around the second turn very well. It looks like Tailgater has the lead coming to the final turn. He is having a good run. They both are. But it's going to be Timothy Jones, the Tailgater. A great run for both trucks. Shane Plateau held his own, but the tailgater gets the win and moves on. And last but not least, Lupe Sosa and El Toro Loco uh, going up against CJ Mente and Storm Damage. I guess I'm in intro mode, folks. Let's just go with it. Uh, Lupe Sosa, our defending champion. We got a good one going. It looks like CJ Mente. Oh, watch out! Storm damage! I started to say he had a slight lead, but not anymore as he gets on two wheels and makes a big mistake in the second turn. And now it's Lupe Sosa all the way. El Toro Loco going to another semifinals. CJ Mente, a big mistake. In that second turn, and it cost him. Lupe Souza moves on. Alrighty then, semi-finals time. Timothy Jones in the tailgater, and Zach Garner in Wildside. This is for a chance at the championship race. Here they come. We got a good one coming around the first turn. They both get through smoothly. How's it going to be through this turn? Timothy Jones a little wide. Zach Garner though a little trouble. Has to slow down a little more than he would have liked to. And Timothy Jones has the lead. And he's going to take Tailgater to the finals. Zach Garner made up a little bit of ground, but it wasn't enough. Timothy Jones in the Tailgater gets the win, and he's going to the finals. Up next, Jay Snyder in the Screaming Demon and Lupe Souza and El Toro Loco. Winner joins the tailgater for the championship race. Both of these guys have been flying all evening long. Jay Snyder high up on the bank. We got a good one going. They both get through the second turn very smoothly. And we have got a great race coming to the final turn. Who's it going to be? This might be the closest one of the day. It's a close one. But it is Lupe Souza, El Toro Loco, Jay Snyder still trying to settle the Screaming Demon down, and El Toro gets the win. 
It's time for the final round, folks. Timothy Jones in the tailgater and Lupe Souza, El Toro Loco, who is going for his second straight title. This is a creature battle. The creature from the swamp tailgater going up against the raging bull, El Toro Loco. This is going to be a good one. Both of these guys have been nailing these corners of this track, and they are dead even coming to the final turn. Who's it gonna be? To the line, it's close! What a race! What a incredible finals, man, oh man! I'll tell you what, your winner and champion, Timothy Jones in the tailgater! What a race! I'll tell you what, folks, what a incredible showing for both of these guys! But Timothy Jones, in the tailgater barely edges him out in the final battle and the tailgater has not only won the swamp battle but he also wins the entire event here at this custom world finals track i tell you what folks i'm not gonna lie to you this track was a nightmare at some points to figure out but nonetheless these guys done a great job Congratulations to Timothy Jones in the tailgater for a big win for that awesome looking machine as he continues his celebration. Enjoy the rest of it guys. Be sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed. Thanks for watching and as always we will see you next time with some more Monster Truck action. So long everybody.